not only in software, but in many areas like drugs, books, music, there's this fight between property rights on one side and uh, free universal access on the other. How your experience in the free software movement could apply to those other areas? I'd like to criticize a few of the terms in the question before I respond to it. To use the term property rights for these artificial monopolies is misleading. It makes it sound as if we were as if they had something that we wanted to take away from them. But the thing they have is an artificial power to control everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's not natural and there's no reason why they should have it. How could now I, it how could I put it then? Well artificial monopolies is a better way to describe it. Now, getting to the specific issues that you raised, I have to say, first of all, that drugs are a very different issue from books, programs, music, and anything that's information. And the reason is this. You and I can't copy drugs. There are no copiers for them. There's no drug copier machine. Put in any drug and it'll produce 50 times as much. That's not how the technology works because drugs are physical substances. They have to be made by a specialized factory. But the copyrights so, are for patents. But, but no, the, no, those are pa drugs are patented. In fact, uh, not copyrighted. Copyright doesn't apply to drugs. Now, the question of whether poor countries are free to produce drugs is a tremendously important one because it's a matter of life and death for a lot of poor people but it's not but the issue that matters is only the price and indeed if these countries say which are poor but not completely broke if they're allowed to set up drug factories they can make drugs a lot cheaper than the US will sell them so they can save a lot of people's lives so this is a tremendously important issue but it's very different from the issue of free software there the primary issue is not price the primary issue is whether you are free to control your own computer and free to share knowledge with other people and this is an issue that affects everyone even in the richest countries and also in poorer countries as long as you can have a computer mm -hmm. obviously the people who are, most of the human race is too poor to have a computer and they don't directly have the problem but even in poor countries the village may be able to have a computer and once the village has a computer then the problem starts to affect them now it's true that the companies that have these artificial monopoly powers and restrict everyone they use that power to squeeze money out of people so they charge a high price so in countries where there are a lot of poor people you'll find people who are not the poorest you know people who could barely afford a computer but they can't afford the proprietary software the extra price of that which is more expensive than the computer uh, and of course the proprietary software always demands the latest most powerful computers whereas our free software can be used on older generation computers from a few years ago that you can get second hand they don't cost so much so this uh, this issue of price does arise for free software versus proprietary software but it's a secondary issue the primary issue is whether you're free to use your computer you know your a computer is a copying engine it's digital tech information technology is technology for copying and manipulating information the owners of information, the monopolists, don't want you to be able to use your computer to do that. So, so, these, so in these ways, the issue of drugs is very different. However, when we look at other kinds of information, say electronic books, music, what we see is that those are all kinds of information and they can be on your computer. And you should always have the freedom to share any published work with your neighbor or with anyone non-commercially it's okay for some kinds of works those those that are entertaining say for those kinds of works it's okay if there's a copyright system that covers commercial distribution and use and this could serve the public purpose of copyright which is to provide some income to the authors but we mustn't try to stop individuals non-commercially from redistributing things because that is an outrage and it's not justified by the goal 
we can have some income for authors without imposing on everything this way. And it takes a police state to enforce it.